I want to thank uh, this organization headed by my dear friend Seth Grossman for uh, reaching out to me to be the guest speaker. It is indeed an honor. It is a pleasure. I, I, I feel very, very comfortable in this environment because I know a lot of you um, probably did not like my politics <laughs> because <laughs> I was um, made um, losers into winners. Don't, things that, as Seth said, basically the genie is out of the bottle. I don't think we're ever getting it back in. So we have to, you know, you have to use, uh, you know, some of the things that the Democrats use. Okay, because you're not going to change the, you know, I don't think not in our lifetime that there will be changes to go back to the way, you know, elections were run. So you, you have to make that, you have to make that change. And don't, when, when you lose by a few votes, don't say they cheated. Work harder and outdo them. Because what you have to do is, as, as I said, everyone around you. Don't let your children, when, when they come of age, and their children's friends, when they come of age, to make sure they're registered to vote. Make sure your grandchildren are registered to vote, and all your grandchildren's friends, make sure they're registered to vote. No one should come around you without being registered to vote. And then follow up. The elections are very close. Most elections in, not only in the state of New Jersey or in, you know, in Atlantic City or Atlantic County, the election is, is usually not landslides. Most of the elections are close within one to five points. And that's where you have to make the transition, you have to make the change. And don't be shy because if you don't, if you continue to, to spend all your money on people or, or, or uh, on the uh, consultants who are just bringing out the same votes, you're going to continue to lose. You got to add to the equation. And you don't have to try to change Democrats into Republicans or Republicans to Democrats. What you have, you have it right here.